Hello everybody, happy Monday and welcome to the start of the week. I had an interesting night. I guess in the middle of the night somehow my feeding pump broke. It had been making some very stressful noises lately. I could tell something was going on with it. I don't really know what happened, but when I was sleeping, all of a sudden there was just this awful, awful beeping and I couldn't get it to stop and I couldn't figure out what the heck was happening because I was still half asleep, couldn't push any buttons, couldn't get it to turn off. It had just given up. So they're supposedly sending me a new pump for the next four hours. Things are not going so great on the feeding front this week. My button itself is malfunctioning as well. So I'm getting that changed out on Wednesday. You guys saw that I did it myself last time and I honestly think I prefer to have it changed out by someone else. There was like a moment of panic where I was like, oh, this might go horribly wrong. And I want to avoid that moment of panic and so I'm having someone else do it. So that's the feeding situation. But the agenda for the day is getting last week's vlog finished and uploaded for you guys and then I will have my nurse come and access my port and hopefully I can get a little bit of Etsy work done. I guess we'll have to see how long the video takes. Sometimes the video process goes really smoothly and sometimes it takes me like the whole day. Port accessed, fluids running, video uploaded, pump swapped out, emails answered, Blanket commission finished. It's been a pretty productive Monday so far. I might even get around to starting on some of the necklace and bracelet orders I have, but I don't know. I think my energy is starting to wane a little bit, and I don't really want to start the week off by completely tiring myself out. Starting to get cold out. Oof, it's always like a mad dash whenever the nurse gets here for me to like find something to throw on that she can access me in. Because if I'm wearing something like this, there's no way that she can get access to my port and for some reason I always seem to forget to be ready on Mondays. Also, I just found the final pile of cards that were sent to me during my hospital stay and I just really, really want to thank Monica and Emily and Shadow and daytodayhope.org for all of the really sweet cards. I'm sorry that I'm opening them so darn late. I guess they just got buried by other stuff and I'm just finding them now. So thank you, I did receive them and they are very much appreciated. And thank you to Shadow's roommates as well for your contribution. I think I've decided now that I'm not going to open any more cards and packages on these vlog videos because it does end up taking up a lot of time and it's probably kind of boring for some of you guys to see that content over and over. So. What I'm thinking is I'm probably going to open a P.O. box if anyone still wishes to send anything. And then I can do a separate video where I open mail and give you guys the thanks that you deserve. Alright guys, so since I last checked in, I have been working on a secret project. For whatever reason, my sister loves Halloween. She just has a lot of very fond childhood memories of Halloween. She was a super anxious child and she basically hates all holidays because I was pretty much sick on every holiday when we were growing up. But the girl loves Halloween, and her favorite Halloween movie <laughs> is Twitches. It was just a Disney Channel movie that we used to watch about twin witches, Tia and Tamara Mori, gotta love it. So I decided that as a good big sister, I was gonna try to make matching necklaces for us <laughs> like they have in that movie. In the movie, one girl has this little moon necklace and one girl has a sun necklace. So I made it my job to go out there and try to find the cheapest, gaudiest, Disney channelist looking moon and sun that I could possibly find and make us matching necklaces. So here are the finished products. I think they actually came out pretty decent considering what I was working with and I'm gonna go surprise her with them and see which one she chooses. I have a present for you. Mm -hmm. One is for you and one is for me. Ooh. No, you didn't. Okay. I think this one. <laughs> That's awesome, because I really like the moon. I know you <laughs> I'm so excited. Can we so, watch it right now? Yeah, I don't usually wear necklaces, but this is like Well, you don't a have nice to wear it all the time. Stain. No, I actually really like it. It's a nice stain piece. Did you make it? I did. 
How? Sort of. I found some really gaudy earrings I and like went from that. there. I get the moon. Does that everyone know what this reference is? Yeah, I told them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Aww. Look, we have sister necklaces. We're so cute. Well, that was a success. And now I just finished up with my saline infusion for the day. So I can go to sleep. But also, look at these amazing Edgar Allan Poe boxer shorts. I'm not gonna lie, I bought them because number one, Edgar Allan Poe is my favorite author. And number two, on the site they were labeled as Poe Cadots. How could I not buy them? Hello you guys, good morning and happy Tuesday. I am about to leave for my physical therapy appointment. I finally got my new ring splint in the mail to replace the one that I lost a couple months ago. I feel so bad that I lost that. It was brand new and it just, it fell off and I have no idea where it went, but now my hand feels so much better. This time they gave me these little elastics so I can tether the two splints together. That way the bottom one's not pushing the top one off. That's why it was falling off and that's how I lost it. So now I've got them tethered on me and hopefully that will keep me from losing any more. They are absolute lifesavers for me. It's probably the thing that I get the most questions about. I get my splints from the Silver Ring Splint Company. They are fantastic. They work with EDS patients all the time. They go to all of the EDS conferences and I just, I love their splints. There are other companies that make Silver Ring Splints. They might even make them for cheaper, but I've had a lot of friends try those and I've tried them on. These just, they fit your hand well. And some of the other ones were just a little off and being a little bit off makes a big difference when you're wearing these things and using these things 24 seven. You don't wanna get like calluses and blisters from the rubbing and you wanna be able to adjust them a little bit. So these are a little bit bendable where other brands sometimes are just too rigid. Anyway, before I go, I need to show you guys this shirt. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do this in the mirror so I can see as well. This has just got to be the best t-shirt I have ever seen. It says, surviving by grace and my neck brace. I got one in this baseball tee style as well, but like, how perfect is this for my life? I also love, it's like a v-neck but it's not like a v-neck. It fits absolutely perfectly with the brace. It's definitely hard to find a shirt that works with the brace, especially with words, cause you always end up just like covering the words up. So I'm gonna show you guys this with the brace on. See, none of the words are covered up. And the best part I think is that you can kind of just tuck this bottom part into the v-neck and it fits just like perfectly with it. So these shirts are actually brand new and they were made by my friend Jen, who you guys met in last week's vlog. And she just opened her Etsy account. I'm so excited for her. You guys need to check Jen out because she's so, so great. And she just opened this shop and she's already got a ton of ideas. You can also get it printed on lots of other styles of clothing. She has like tank tops and just plain t-shirts and the baseball tee style that I just showed you, and she has other sayings as well. It's just awesome. And she gave me a promo code for you guys, which is really sweet. So if you decide to get one of these shirts or any of her other merchandise, just make sure that you use the promo code CHRISTINA15 and you'll get a discount. And then we will be twins. Also for reference, this is a size extra small. It fits me pretty well. It's a little bit baggy down here, which I like. It's actually nice and long, which I also like. It's not like itchy and boxy like some t-shirts. I love it. All right, guys, time to go. Sammy, what's going on? I'm worried about you. She won't bear any weight on one of her feet. Look at her. Come here. Oh, it's shaking too. Come here, sweetie. Oh my goodness. What happened? What's going on, baby? She can't even get up, Warren. Oh my goodness. Jamie, do you have a heart leg? What happened? Did you jump off the couch from too high or something? Hmm? Look at her. This is so sad. Usually she sleeps on the couch or up on one of the chairs, but she can't even jump up. This is like <laughs> breaking my little heart, Sammy. I'm so sorry. We're going to get you help, okay? 
I don't even know why I bothered to try to nap anymore. <laughs> I've just been laying here frustrated for like four hours. But anyway, my body's struggling a little bit. I feel like I'm having a lot of mast cell issues. A lot of it is just seasonal allergies making my body go crazy. But then I started having like pain and itching on my stomach and I looked down and I had a little bit of bleeding and redness on the edge of my incision for my shunt. And I was like, shoot. It looks like my body is trying to reject one of the internal sutures, one of the stitches, which isn't surprising because I've had that happen with a lot of my neck surgeries. I had that happen already with this shunt. But immediately I was like, ah! My incision's open again, like it's gonna get another infection. I can't deal with that. So I just tried to clean it really, really well with alcohol wipes and I put sterile gauze and a sterile occlusive dressing over it. And I am just going to cross my fingers and pray to God that I don't have any infection there and it's just a weird little stitch. It's just like one tiny little spot and you can see the stitch kind of trying to come out. So that could explain why my body has been a little bit extra mast cell-y the last couple of days. It's just nerve wracking to have that open up again, you know, since last time that caused such a disaster. Right now, I'm just like really worried about poor Sammy. My dad said that she got stuck in a thorn bush earlier, and so we kind of thought that maybe she had a thorn in her paw, but he looked her all over. And she didn't have a thorn. It looks like her leg is like dislocated. And last time we were at the vet, they told us that she had like a weird dislocating knee or hip but that she was putting it back in herself and it wasn't an issue and we just like joked about it because we we're like oh of course she does you know like join the club but now she can't put any weight on it at all and she's like sadly limping around and it's so awful to watch i want to go to the emergency vet but my parents are like it's so expensive we have to go to bed we have appointments in the morning and i'm like mm poor thing. So we're gonna try to get her into the vet as soon as possible, but I just hate seeing her suffer. It's so weird having her be so demure like this and not bratty at all. I miss her brattiness. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday morning. It is very early and I did not sleep well last night. I don't know. My GI is all messed up from that problem with my adrenals last week, so I think my body's just mad. Anyway, I'm about to head out because I'm having my little Mickey button, my feeding tube changed out. I know that you can do it yourself. I did it myself last time. It's just, it's difficult for me with angles, not being able to look down. I just prefer somebody else doing it. So I'm just gonna go and have someone do it in their office. Poor Sammy is still limping around with her leg. So my parents did make a vet appointment for her later to get it checked out. But I feel so bad, the poor thing. Oh well, she's truly a dowry. All right, people, the job has been done. I have my new little feeding tube button in. I didn't get it on camera this time because I filmed it in the past. If you guys are interested in seeing what that looks like, I can link those down below for you. But anyway, so <laughs> funny story. We have been thinking, I really am ready to try to reincorporate food. I don't know how attainable that goal is right now, but I want to at least start the process or at least know how to start the process. So my mom asked about their speech and swallowing department and if they had any good therapists. And she really didn't know. People ask me all the time, like who manages your feeds and who manages your nutrition? That would be me. We just kind of have fallen in the cracks here. It's so rare apparently for someone my age to have a feeding tube for these reasons. I think that it's just much more common in children's hospitals or with elderly or with eating disorder patients, but really there isn't much of a precedent for patients like me. So she called down to the speech and swallow center and didn't get anything back. We looked up where their office is because my mom was like, well, you know, we're here. Why don't we just show up and see if we can just talk to somebody. And so she looks up where the offices they didn't know that either it was in the system as 
like on being on the first floor, but it didn't say where. Well, the first floor is under construction. Yeah, I guess everyone who was on the first floor got moved to various places and no one really knows where they are. My doctor was really nice and she came and she walked with us to the information desk to explain the situation, see if we could find it. The information lady called around to a bunch of different people. Moral of the story is we have absolutely no idea where they've moved to what their phone number is. I don't know if they'll call us back. It's just, it's a part of medicine and apparently a part of that hospital that has kind of gotten lost. So I don't really know where to go from there. Hopefully they'll call us back. It would be really nice, I think, to have it through this hospital just because this is where my allergist is and this is also where obviously I come for my tube maintenance. But I have no idea and even if we do get through them and talk to somebody I don't know if they're able to work with this kind of thing if that's what they do and also I would need someone who understands the mass cell piece of it which is a big piece but I really want to start that process you know I really want to get back to eating being feeding tube dependent is not the main goal even if I could just eat like little bits for enjoyment and rely on the feeding tube for the bulk of my calories, that would be a step forward. Even if I could drink something besides water. <sighs> we'll see. Halloween Town High. Sam, you still limping. The vet said that I think she like dislocated it and relocated it and now it's just swollen and put her on anti-inflammatories, which literally makes her one of us. Poor little rascal. So, I'm about to surprise Christina. She doesn't know I'm coming, but I'm outside her house. So, hopefully it will be a good surprise. <laughs> Her morning meds haven't kicked in yet. Is this real? Yeah. Is real? <laughs> Am I attached to anything? Okay guys, my mind is so blown. Like, Bonnie just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea she was coming. I've never been surprised before and I'm so excited. She's in the kitchen. Hi. Obviously. <laughs> she and her dad are on like a cross country trip in a Tesla for his retirement. And I guess we were one of the stops, but I'm so happy. So she's, are you gonna be here until Monday, like with us? So yes, I'll be here. I fly out on Monday. You want to get in the vlog? And she's wearing her Overcomer shirt. <laughs> I'm so I, I'm speechless. <laughs> this is the best day ever. <laughs> I've never actually been this surprised. This is like so cool, Mama. I have never seen a Tesla before. Sound. No sound. Oh, wow. It's like the opposite of my sister's boyfriend. He oh, comes yeah. in and yeah. it's like you can hear him from two streets know. away. Good morning, people. It is Friday. I fell asleep in my clothes for the second day in a row. Good job, Christina. But I am having a wonderful time. I'm still kind of like in shock that Bonnie was able to pull this all off and surprise me and come here without me even knowing. I guess my mom knew, but that was it. Like my dad and my sister didn't know. Like some of my best friends didn't know. So it's just been great. We've been catching up, hanging out, having our little slumber party. But today is physical therapy day. Therefore, we are still getting up and going. Bonnie's wishing she had an appointment. <laughs> Hopefully maybe after the appointment we can check out some of the area and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel, but it would be nice to make like a special day out of it. Guys, I'm so sad. My new Mickey button is leaking too, <laughs> just like the old one was. Now I'm starting to question if the old one was actually faulty or if it's a problem with me, if it's just like my stomach is under literally too much pressure. I don't know. 
I just checked the residual in my stomach, which means like you can pull back with the syringe and see how much is in there, which is really gross, but it just gives us a little bit of data. And there's definitely more in my stomach than there should be at the rate that I'm running my feeds. I'm actually running my feeds slower than I usually do. So something's going on with my digestion. I haven't been feeling well. I don't really know what's going on. It could just be that I had a lot of anesthesia in the last couple months and my body's not happy. I don't really know. But anyway, we just got to physical therapy and Bonnie's still here. I dragged her along with me. Hi. There's nothing like having a friend who will drive two hours to go sit in with your physical therapy appointment. <laughs> I'm so interesting. Yeah. But I'm also jealous because I want Trish. Yeah. Well, you should have made an appointment. Unfortunately. She would hate yeah. me for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, like, Bonnie came here last time and saw Trish, but then she wasn't planning on coming back soon enough to continue to be a patient, so Trish discharged her. If she wanted to have a, an appointment today, she would have to be given a whole new evaluation and then a discharge in the same day which that's a lot of paperwork. Um, Trish doesn't quite like paperwork. <laughs> so. Does anyone like paperwork? No. I don't think so. I think that's always like the part of the job that you didn't sign up for, but you have to do anyway. <laughs> yeah, so we're a little bit early. We're just chilling out in the car. <laughs> I hope my I'm getting to will figure itself out because I don't really want to get it changed out again. We don't have time to get it changed out again. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Hi gals. about to go watch The Great British Bake Off because yeah. Bonnie got us into it and I think it's going to be our new show. And I think I should be on it. I, I have to work Well, you have to be British. British accent. But you have started drinking tea, so you're halfway there. I'll, uh, I'll fake it. <laughs> this is oh. the non-gluten-free one. <laughs> Wait, do a British accent. Oh, forget it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go watch the show. Today was such a lazy day. We had this huge storm come through today and it was probably one of like the worst storms we've had since I got my shunt, which is kind of interesting. I think my shunt performed really well with the air pressure, but I definitely feel a little bit like motion sick, kind of queasy from feeling it drain. I don't know if that's still me getting used to the shunt or if that's just how it's going to feel when it rains. But yeah, we stayed in bed for like most of the day and just worked on our various art projects. And then we moved to the couch and did the exact same thing. We finished an entire season of The Great British Bake Off in two days. Kind of nice to have a friend though who's into the same things and moving at the same pace. 
and we wanted to save up our energy because tomorrow we made plans to meet up with a friend. She's gonna come over and we're just all gonna hang out. It's actually Jen who you guys met when we were hanging out with Mary. This is gonna be my second time hanging out with Jen and I'm already so in love with her. We've been talking a lot and she's so sweet. So she and Bonnie are like, they're gonna get along so well. They know each other from the internet. It's a small world, I guess. Our little communities on the internet, as you guys know. So, we all kind of know about each other, but it's going to be nice to hang out, all three of us. I guess we should get to bed soon so that we can save up our energy. Bonnie's getting ready for bed, so... Oh, I should probably go too. My GI is feeling a lot better today. It was actually really Trish that made a big difference. One of the things that happens when you have your spine fused is you lose a lot of movement in your gut as well. It only makes sense. If you're bending over and moving around and twisting like you would normally do throughout your day, then that helps the gut to move and everything to move through your gut. But I don't have that movement, so my gut really doesn't move a whole lot. And then adding being tube fed on top of that and not really having any kind of fiber or nutrition besides the tube feeds, I don't really have a whole lot of gut motility. But one of the things that Trish is trained in is visceral manipulation. So when it comes to your organs, she's really able to do a lot of magic there as well. So she doesn't just do magic for my joints, she does a lot of magic for my gut and my diaphragm and my various other squishy bits. And so I'm feeling a lot better today. I always say like, I feel like my stomach turns on when I leave. We actually checked yesterday uh, how much I had in my stomach before I went in and how much I had coming out. And it was a big difference. Um, I was able to take in a lot more of my feeds afterwards and it's continued to get better today. So that is really encouraging. I'm feeling better honestly than I have in weeks. So thank you Trish. It's definitely really hard to find a therapist who is well trained in visceral manipulation. Yeah my mom is saying she just doesn't even know what our life would be like without her. It's scary to think. Right so my mom is saying um just how important it is to have someone even just following you. She sees me every couple days. Whenever anything feels a little bit different, she notices like things that I barely even notice. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I would be without her. I definitely would be in pretty bad shape. I can say that. Some of the most serious things actually that I've had happen in the last couple years have been caught by her. I'm just very lucky. Ooh, looks like she's done it again. I think this show has really inspired you. We're on our second season now. Gluten free, of course. Ooh. It looks really good. It smells really good. This is for Bonnie. <laughs> is there a soggy bottom? There's not. Is it sweet enough? <laughs> also, look at this little pin that Bonnie made for me. It's a little zebra, but if you look really, really closely, you might just notice that there's a little hidden message in here somewhere. And I've even got Jen's shirt on as well. I actually really love this baseball tee. I think that I like this cut even better than the v-neck because I like it when things are tight on my arms and this just, it just fits really well. I like the hem. I don't know. I just really like the cut of this. <laughs> My hair is insane. There. This is not done by Ken. Well, I didn't fix it. <laughs> I did finish most of my bracelet and necklace orders, which rocks. Now I'm just working on writing on all of the little thank you notes. One of these bracelet orders I've been working on for like ever. I feel so bad. It's this little. Harry Potter themed charm bracelet, which was super fun to make. So I can't wait to get this sent out. But tonight is Bonnie's last night here with us. 
so sad. So I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna enjoy our final moments. I'm trying out the vest. So it's gonna inflate first, so you might wanna like hold this part down. Like okay. the bottom part. All right. I can't tell if you're in frame. You can flip it. Awesome, yay. Okay. Now I can tell Oh you. wow, that feels weird. It's like a hug. Oh, I kinda like that. Yeah. I'm also gonna... If I could just like sleep with that, I think that would be perfect. Yeah. All right, ready? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh. Holy <laughs> body. <laughs> That's intense. Yep. Wow. <laughs> You can opt out. You can tap out at any moment if you want to. No, I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. I'd expect nothing less. It feels weird. It feels like my nose is like flapping. Yeah. My ears get itchy. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, now you all know, understand why I make like random noises when I'm doing the best. Yeah, give me something to say. Um. Oh gosh, now now it's like. <laughs> I There's to nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's important. Bre uh, uh, personal experience. Breathing's important. Wow. Na yeah. And na that's 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Twice a day. I do feel like I'm breathing deeper in some way. It's kind of pushing the air out of you. But I think it's because I'm. It's kind of like when I did CPAP. Yeah. And it was like it helped one way, but then. <laughs> <laughs> I could not breathe out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's exactly how it feels. Alright. I think I'm done with Yeah. This. But that is interesting. <laughs> and it's just and as sudden. Abrupt. Yeah. There's no, like, it ramps up, there's no ramping down. It's just like, okay, we're done. What? We're off. That makes you dizzy. Yeah. But I think it helps with the pots, with like the compression. Yeah. So I like the compression because it like, it also helps me cough because it keeps my ribs in. Yeah, that makes sense. When I cough. I don't feel like I have to cough. There's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't discover anything. No, no aliens? Yeah, no aliens. <laughs> but awesome. that feels so weird. Realize that you can't see these. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's so cool. So just watch you struggle. I like the feeling. Yeah, it's not a terrible feeling. It's just very weird. It's very different. Nothing has ever felt like that before. <laughs> You're oh, shook. Yeah. You You're that? literally shook. <laughs> All right. All righty. And I don't know how to turn this off. All right, guys. Well, on that note, our time together this week has come to a close. Thank you so much for spending another week with me and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, I make them every week so you can hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when that happens. And don't forget today is the final day of the pregnancy pillow, body pillow giveaway, which I will be linking in the description below. I will be picking the winners next week so make sure that if you want to be entered that you enter now and I will see you guys next week. Bye.